Let's look at the graphs of polynomial functions. For example, let f and g be defined as follows. Let's choose the graph of f and g from these choices here. As we saw in the properties of polynomials lesson, an important feature of a polynomial function's graph is its n behavior. And this depends upon the degree and the leading coefficient. So let's start with f here. If we'd multiply f out, we'd have f of x is equal to x to the fourth plus stuff. Which means the degree of f is equal to 4, which is even, and the leading coefficient is equal to 1, which is greater than 0, which means the graph of f eventually rises to both the left and right. Which means, looking here at our choices, the only options would be graphs C or D. But which one is the graph of F? Well, that's where the zeros come in. If a zero has an odd multiplicity, then the graph of F crosses the x-axis at that zero. But if a zero has an even multiplicity, then the graph of F will touch the x-axis at that zero. So let's write that here. If a zero has odd multiplicity, it means that the graph of that function crosses the x-axis at that zero. But if the zero has an even multiplicity, that means that the graph of the function touches the x-axis at that zero. So looking at f here, And factoring completely, this is the difference of two squares, so it's x minus 1 times x plus 1. We see that f of x is equal to 0 when this is 0, this is 0, or this is 0, which means that the zeros of f are negative 4 with multiplicity 2. If you look up here, the power is 2. 1 with multiplicity 1 and negative 1 with multiplicity 1, which means the graph of f touches the x-axis at negative 4 and it crosses at 1 and it crosses at negative 1. So looking at our choices, c and d, our answer would have to be graph C, wouldn't it? It touches at negative 4, crosses at negative 1, crosses at 1. Looking at graph D, yes, it touches at negative 4, but it doesn't even have negative 1 as a 0, and it touches at 1. So this would not work. So therefore, the graph of F is graph C. All right, and what about g here? We see that the degree of g is 3, which is odd. And the leading coefficient is 
is negative 2, which is less than 0, which means the graph of g will eventually rise to the left and fall to the right, which means looking at our choices here, the only possibilities would be graph B and graph E. So now to determine which one it is, let's look at the zeros. Let's factor g, so g of x is equal to negative 2x cubed plus 8x squared. And we can factor out a negative 2x squared from both terms, which leaves us with x minus 4. And therefore, g will equal 0 when this is 0 or this is 0, which means that the zeros are 0 with multiplicity 2 and 4 with multiplicity 1. And therefore, the graph of g touches the x-axis at x equal to 0, and it crosses the x-axis at x equal to 4, which means graph E then would be our answer because the graph touches the x-axis at x equals 0, and it crosses at x equal to 4. And looking at graph B, this wouldn't work because it's crossing at 0 and touching at 4. So this here, then, is the graph of G. And this is how we work with the graphs of polynomials. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.